Hello and welcome to lesson number 15 where we'll create a very simple uh, image light box. And a light box is usually uh, an overlay that shows a much bigger version uh, of a thumbnail. Essentially a larger image. So here's the finished result. We're going to do the same thing as the previous. I'm going to show you the finished result. I'm going to show you the code and just walk you through it. So we have a bunch of images here and when I click one of them, we have this nice transition into um, a bigger version of that image. And clicking anywhere will actually close that and return us to our original screen. Now, the markup, we basically have a UL with a class of gallery and each image has its SRC to a thumbnail and then data lightbox to the main image. And at the end, we have a div with an ID of lightbox overlay. And this image element will be used uh, to show the main or the bigger image. Now, for the script, and the script is actually very, very simple here. We just have one event listener. Click, uh, and we're listening on the document anywhere, basically and we're um, triggering the lightbox click function. So lightbox click gets the element that was clicked on, gets the ID of the element, gets the image that needs to display the larger version, gets the lightbox overlay itself, and it creates a new image. And this is actually another way of listening to click events. So, for example, instead of um, specifying which element we should listen for, for click events, we're doing document add event listener click. And then inside the function that's triggered, we just filter the results like we do here. So, for example, if the element we clicked on has the attribute of data light box, that means if we clicked on one of those images, then we know we have to open the overlay. Otherwise, if we click on either the lightbox image, which is the image that's being shown, or the lightbox overlay, then we're going to close the lightbox or we're going to remove the overlay. And inside here, so if uh, we're clicking on one of the images, on one of the thumbnails, we're preventing the default behavior because we are dealing with anchor tags. And then we're creating a new image and unload. We're setting its SRC to the SRC of the image we clicked on. Then we remove the old source from the lightbox image and we're setting the source of the new image to the source of the image we clicked on. So essentially, when we're doing this bit, we're triggering this function here. And finally, we're showing the light box. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, again, a very, very simple script. Just one event listener, and we're uh, doing two if statements. We're checking, hey, where exactly did you click? Did you click on one of those thumbnails? Fine. It means we need to open a new image. Uh, you clicked on um, anywhere else. You clicked on the light box overlay or the light box, light box image. Fine, that means we have to close the overlay. Very, very simple. Now, the final demo we're going to be looking at uh, shows a very popular element, and that is a tab control. See you on the next lesson.